one either. That's weird. You come down here once and you can't keep them off the line. Today, nothing. below the spillway, emergency overflow. There's a new channel cut in here somewhere. Hoping there might be some fish along the shoreline or hanging in the brush or somewhere in here. I haven't been very productive yet today. Another fish. It's only about a foot deep in here. <laughs> I was hoping there's a channel, but I guess it didn't cut anything. Boy, it was flowing through here. I'll push through here a little bit further. Oh, I can see the dirt. <laughs> I can see the bottom. You're definitely not pushing through this. This is too shallow. All right, well, let's back out and see if we can find something somewhere else. This ain't but about a foot deep. <laughs> There's fish turning everywhere. Of course, they're probably feeling pretty good. It's nearly 80 degrees day after Christmas. But that's Texas. It does get warm periodically. It's pretty too. Look at that. Got, got, got one carp, one nice strong carp motor. Can't get him to go in the right direction though. Oh, he's pulling me around. Oh. I'm snagging him. Double jigs. Snagging buffalo. <laughs> he's pulling me all over. Come on, fish. Get some direction to yourself. This fish needs direction. Doesn't seem to have a doesn't seem to have a direction in life. All right, come here. Let me get this thing off right here. Ah, there we go, come on. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Whee! <laughs> I can keep up with you. <laughs> Bring around this way, buddy. Headroom back here. It's a little creek that comes in from the side. Hmm. Well, let's see what's in here. Good morning. Got up this morning extra early. Went outside and actually I opened the door, the screen door, and I was listening and I thought for a minute that I heard barking. But it was not barking. Off in the distance, way up in the sky, I heard the geese. Lots of geese. It's a constant stream coming in. It is warm today. It's nearly 70 degrees already. Soupy. Not a good day to shoot something unless it's a pig. But I probably won't have to deal with that anyway. I'm going to do a big figure eight. <coughs> or more or less figure eight. I just haven't quite decided how quickly I should walk. I'm not camouflaged up today either. 
However, I probably do look a lot like a pig. Dark black pants on. This is hunting in Texas, man. It, it'll get warm like this. I'll be fighting mosquitoes. Camera's gonna have a little bit of trouble this morning because of the low light levels. I don't necessarily have a great wind advantage. It's kind of blowing from every direction. Mostly interested in shooting pigs, not not so much deer. Let's get this walk rolling. Got Mr. Owl up here. There it is. That's the two great horned owls. Usually not that easy to spot. Oh, there goes one. Let's see if the other one goes. Oh, they're a magnificent bird. Can't get a little closer. These are super low light levels. He's fixing to fly too. I suspect that's a pair. Isn't that neat? There goes the first deer. What is that? Looks like a doe. I bet she's not running by herself. The wind's supposed to be out of the south, but it's coming out of the northwest. At the moment, it feels really good. I'm gonna boogie this way. A bit of clover in there. High value. This is a really good area. A lot of traffic comes down this hill. This hill headed down into the bottom. I got my camera right up here, trail camera. I'm gonna move it. Oh, what's catching up here is cows. I did see one doe on it, I have not seen a buck. And I mean, that camera tends to fail at the wrong time you can go up there and that scrape will have been freshly hit and it didn't trigger the camera for some reason I'm not sure why most of the time it triggers it when I walk up here let's see oh, yeah see and the scrape has been hit it's been cleaned off again be just at the outer edge of what it can see. I'm gonna move it. It has been hit so it might have captured something. There's a better one just right down here. Actually, there's, there's scrapes all along this ridge. I'm sure it's the same deer or the same group of deer that are looking at it and walking right past it. First one was right over here. The more active one was back here. And he's hit that one again. Fresh ended up just a little too much, but I think I'm gonna. 
put it in this one over here. This one has been, has been getting a little more attention. And it's got more attention again. Very freshly hit. That's good. I'll put it on this camera, this tree over here. Looking down at it. I had it over there on that little tree. I had it on that little tree. I was thinking I'd put it on that little tree. I think that one's a little too close. And I don't know. I assume he's coming through here be a dumb assumption. sees the top of this branch right here because he's going to rub his antlers on that quite a bit nice and freshly hit too so he'll come back it's very late season this is the last of the rut you know honestly I don't know if they hit their scrapes more in the last of the rut or the first I suspect they do it more at the last because the remaining receptive does will swing by here which there's my trail I cut all right do I want to go I want to go this way because that's the way the wind gives me the advantage all right let's hoof it something laying there probably a cow that's an awful big dry spot cow spent the night underneath this tree that'd be my guess big animal or two of them I don't think deer they'll bed together but not together together It ain't cold, so they're not having to huddle together for warmth. I would venture that this particular temperature is not very comfortable for the deer. Yeah. Cleared my path out. I have been leaning down underneath that for no reason. Just cleared it out so I can come through standing up. There's the main path. This is the one that cows take most often. All right, I need to go into stealth mode. This isn't too bad. These leaves are fairly wet, so they don't make a lot of noise. right there there's the branch two of them it's a double whammy one see there's a little bit of a patch there a fresh hit patch there overhanging branch all the usual traits like I said I do have a good wind advantage boy that wind feels nice how's that wind filter working it's a band-aid on top of my camera it's been working pretty good it keeps that roar of the wind noise down to a minimum one last 
last good look behind me down the fence row see anything down into the lower pasture as much as I can see of it I've got two options when I come up here well two good options to follow the edge around the always in the open or to cut back through on a trail and today because I have the wind advantage and the ground is fairly moist I'm gonna cut back through the woods See where all this has been grazed over. This will stay green all winter. Back here in the protected forest, it's got to get real cold for this to die back. And that doesn't happen very often, not in Texas. There's my trailhead right there. thick green you can see where the tops of it have been bobbed by the animals they love this stuff Ooh, that's the kind of noise you don't want to make and when you do make that kind of noise you need to stand still for a little bit because <laughs> you almost guarantee something's looking at you they'll come investigate about ready to see if any of my stealthiness has paid off right through this little draw come out on this where this creek comes out this is where you most often screw it up I'm moving too quickly Not yet. I guarantee you that was a good approach. In different conditions that might have worked quite well. It still might. This is a high traffic area. The deer just do not seem to be moving today. Brave the journey to the side. They are. For NPR News, I'm the Three does. This is NPR News. Right in there and disappear. 
They stop moving, you can't even see them. Let's go get my memory card. See if the cows found my feeder. green patch <laughs> oh dang there's a cow there's some cow tracks look at that green patch of grass I think those cows are actually following me down here that's pretty pretty smart of me use those pigs to tear all this ground up and then come in here and Seed it with ryegrass, knowing that it's back here in the woods. I can see something's hitting it on a regular basis. I don't see any cow tracks. Probably pigs. I have a hard time reaching that. That's how I got it that high. Still got corn in it. There's one little camera taking pictures of me. Let me go look at the pasture over here. See if there's any deer on the neighbor's place. I know there's deer, just how many. Actually, let me go this route this time. I'm just gonna crash. There's one right there. One, two, three. One, two, right there. Three, four. Oh, there's a buck. You see right through the hole. You can't because the camera doesn't know what to focus on. It already spied me. That place has got tons of deer on it. Oh, there's two bucks. There's a little better buck. Still nowhere near like the ones we have on this place. Oh, there's another one. Three bucks. That's a good deer. Yeah, that's a nice buck. That's a good one. The biggest one I've seen on that place. A couple of does staring at me. That's a nice buck he's got over there. Well, I can see he's got something worth putting the fence around. Right there, that's a good looking buck. Good looking deer. Looks like he might be an eight or a seven. Good mass. Fix.